Thank you, Deputy Speaker. And I want to congratulate the nine exceptional Novocastrians who were recognised in the recent King's Birthday Honours List for outstanding leadership in their respective fields. Two Novocastrians were awarded the Member of the Order, the AM, and I'd like firstly to congratulate the Honourable Graham Mullane, AM, for his significant contributions to the judiciary, law and our community. Mr Mullane holds the distinction of being the first judge appointed from the Hunter region in 1986. For over two decades, he dedicated his judicial service to the family law at the Newcastle Register of the Family Court of Australia. His commendable community leadership includes involvement with Scouts Australia and the advocacy for the most vulnerable. Chairing esteemed organisations like the Royal Newcastle Hospital Board, the Hunter Institute of Mental Health Advisory Board and the Hunter Age Care Foundation further exemplifies his commitment to serving others. Newcastle says thank you to Graham Mullane for your lifetime of service. And heartfelt congratulations to Mr Sean Gordon AM for his remarkable dedication to First Nations people and communities, as well as his tireless advocacy for equity. Mr Gordon has devoted his professional life to fostering reconciliation between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australians, with a focus on education and representation. His involvement in the First Nations Constitutional Convention, which produced the Uluru Statement from the Heart, is testament to his instrumental role in advancing Indigenous rights. This historic statement has paved the way for the upcoming re referendum to enshrine a First Nations voice to the Australian Parliament and in our constitution. We honour Sean Gordon's courage and leadership for this well-deserved award. I also want to acknowledge the following seven recipients of the Medal of the Order of Australia. Ms Vivian Allison, AOM, CEO of Maroba Caring Community since 1994, She's dedicated herself to the aged care sector. Her extensive experience as a registered nurse, along with her role as a conjoint fellow at the University of Newcastle School of Nursing and Midwifery, has earned her high regard. Her unwavering advocacy for older persons and commitment to positive change in the sector make her a fearless champion for older Australians. Mr Ross Bingham, OAM, at Ronald McDonald, the CEO of Ronald McDonald House in Northern New South Wales since 1996, for providing crucial support to hospitalised children and their families. Through various programs, his organisation ensures families can stay together and close to the care that they need. Dr Jennifer Buckingham, OAM, has been recognised for exceptional contributions to educational research and literacy. She collaborates with systems, schools and teachers to enhance literacy, instruction and assessment. As the founder of the 5 to 5 um, project, she has empowered countless children with essential tools for reading in every classroom every day. Dr Ian Cameron, OAM, for his service to medical administration and to rural and Indigenous health. Dr Cameron was born in Burke in New South Wales Outback and worked there as a GP for a decade before moving to Newcastle in 1996. In Newcastle, he took on the role of the Chief, Chief Executive for the New South Wales Rural Doctors Network, a position he held for 20 years until his retirement. Dr Cameron has never forgotten his roots and remains a strong advocate for health care in the bush. He's also a conjoint lecturer at the College of Health, Medicine and Wellbeing at the University of Newcastle. Thank you, Dr Cameron, for your passion and commitment to quality primary health care, regardless of your postcode or circumstances. And Mr John um, Conaghan, OAM, for services to people with Huntington's disease. As a senior social worker at the John Hunter Hospital, he has been instrumental in supporting individuals and families affected by Huntington's disease since 1985. His compassion and approach and unwavering support has made a significant difference in challenging circumstances. Miss Elizabeth Grist, OAM, for services to community health and to nursing and midwifery. As the Hunter New England Health um, Functional Area Commander, Miss Grist helped usher the Hunter through the COVID-19 pandemic. She was instrumental in developing the major COVID-19 vaccination clinic for our community, keeping Novocastrians protected and safe. And finally, I want to acknowledge Ms Patricia McMahon, OAM, for her service to the community through a range of organisations, including the RSL Women's Auxiliary, the Lions Club Probus, the Bowling Club, Meals on Wheels and the Chamber of Commerce. Her tireless efforts and long-standing commitment exemplify remarkable service to our community.
community. Her recent appointment was patronised. Order. The member's time has expired, and I call the member for Lindsay.